how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Carissa Sheelan. I am a mom to a one-year-old as well as a wife to a mechanical engineer. And if you're not new here, well, hey, welcome back. I'm super glad to have you. Today, we are doing one of my favorite, I don't know if you want to call it a snack, lunch, whatever, um, appetizer. Um, this specific one is super good. It is keto, low carb friendly whatever you want to call it um this recipe has been kind of tweaked a little f f throughout the years um i guess the original recipe -er that kind of started it was actually my high school principal yes i went to school in a um, very small town so a lot of people know each other and when I go to a Super Bowl party pretty much every year um, the person who hosts it um, invites a bunch of people and one of those people happens to be my old high school principal so this concept kind of came from his thing my mom tweaked it a little bit to make it a little bit hers and then I've also tweaked it a little bit more to add it to mine. So there's only a few ingredients that you'll need. You'll need softened cream cheese. I go with just the store brand. It doesn't need to be fancy because you're gonna be cooking it. Um, breakfast sausage, garlic powder, and yellow chilies. So I have about eight here and that will typically suffice of what we're going to make here. Other things that you will need is also pan, tinfoil, preheat your oven to 400 degrees if you are cooking with me right now with this recipe. Um, a bowl and I like to use some gloves because I do have a baby so I don't want the fumes from the and the oils from the chilies to get on my hands and then irritate his skin. So I like to cut with these. Um, we'll get right into this, shall we? So here we're gonna get out all the peppers from your bag. Don't bother washing them. We will wash them after we cut them. If you are using gloves, make sure you put those on. You're gonna cut off the tops and you're gonna pick out the seeds. You want everything intact because you are gonna be stuffing these. So peel out all the little seeds and try to get as many as the side wall things that you can. If it breaks a little, that's understandable, it's okay. They will still work, but try not to break them too much.
Now that they're all cut up and ready to go and de-seeded, we're going to clean up so that all the seeds don't get everywhere and get all hot. And if you have a baby, at least they won't eat it or anything. Now you're going to wash them out and make sure that like, all the seeds get out. You're going to get your peppers washed as well. So that's why I said don't bother wasting your time washing them first. Now you're gonna flip them upside down so that water can just drain out while you make the rest of the stuffing. For the stuffing, you're gonna use the whole package of sausage links and just brown them up, toast, toast it up, that's not right. <laughs> um, just brown them up and make sure that it's all chunked up, like kind of like your ground beef for chili or tacos or whatever you're making. Once that gets all ground up and broken down evenly-ish uh, and cooked thoroughly, you're going to want to get a strainer um, to strain out all the fat. You don't need any of that. Huh. Rhyme there if you like that. <laughs> Now just dump that into a bowl. Get your cream cheese. Make sure that was sat out for a little bit so it's soft. I was having difficulties opening this one for some reason. But haha, ha, I have got it in. Now dump it in and add some garlic powder. It's probably about a fourth of a teaspoon right there, to be honest, or an eighth. Depends on how much garlic you like. Enjoy. And then you're gonna mix it all together. Mix, 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 mix.
you could probably get a mixer in. I was being kind of lazy slash taking the hard way. Once that's thoroughly mixed, pretty much like that, then we're gonna get our pan and aluminum foil. And I'm gonna just start stuffing them. And you can gauge it out. You may have a little too much or a little too little for how many peppers you end up buying because you think a hole is bigger and being able to stuff more in. I also use the back of the spoon to kind of shove it down. So try to get as much in as possible because you, for this I had a little extra for, I didn't buy enough peppers, but that's okay. I did stuff as much as I could into all of them. Pop it in the oven. This is about 20 to 25 minutes later. I did let them char a little bit longer, so just keep an eye on it. You do want to get a little bit of char. I think I did a little too long on mine. All right, so they've cooled down where you could actually like eat them. I don't ever go straight for them right after they come out. So this is what they look like. Um, so I just pick them up and eat them. So some of these peppers have a lot of heat and some of them are like mild. You never know what you're gonna get. This one definitely has some heat to it. I... I cook these a little too long in my personal preference. I just kind of accidentally forgot about them until I start really smelling them. But it only takes about 25 minutes in the oven, so... If that, just keep an eye on them. You can smell them kind of like a brownie or a baked good where you smell it, you're typically close to being done. That's what happened here. Oh my Atlanta, that one was really hot. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoy these. 
the recipe will down in the description or follow or follow along in the video with me um i hope you guys try them out if you do try them out leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of them i hope you guys all had a great day if you liked today's video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and know when i am posting next i love you guys oh so much Mwah. bye a perfect day I just want to leave earn all my lies behind us so let's get lost out here no one else out here find ourselves out here oh. we could disappear into this atmosphere where this water's clear yeah.